Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how I get a S rank from Mission 12 Hellbound in Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Right, so just uh, skip the first cutscene with the select button and press X on skip. And then just wait for um, for it to load. Do, do, do. Come on. Right, episode 12, Hellbound. Right, from the start you can just start running as fast as you can to the to the first door. And when you get to the door, start crouch walking. Go through the door and watch out for the guy in the right. Now I've picked uh, 6 o'clock at night or something. Because it's harder for them to see you. And I've also picked my buddy as uh, D Horse. Right, so just stay crouch walking. Watch out for the helicopter as well that might spot you. Yeah, there's a guy here, I like to hold him up. Or grab him, either. I just hold him up and then I head down the stairs. And, and look, I nearly get spotted. So, when they come looking for me, I'm just going to hide in the corner over here. And, and hopefully they won't see me. Yeah, they're coming down those stairs on my left. I'm hoping they run right by. Wait, how's he not spotted me? <laughs> come on. I mean, I know it's dark, but come on, you see somebody there unless you're blind. Look, both of them are there and not one of them has spotted me. That is unbelievable. I've been really lucky at this section. I mean, Uh, it definitely, I mean that is pure luck how they didn't even see me. Can't believe that. Yeah, I'll mark them now just so I can see where they're gone. Right, one's away up there, he's out of the way. Yeah, they're both out of the way, so I'll just crouch walk. Right, and when you get round this corner here you will see a guy, or what looks like a guy, but it's actually actually a decoy. Let's see him, that's a decoy. So crouch walk up this hill, just be careful, there is guys that can spot you on the right there. But as you can see he's spotted me but he, he's no, he's just uh, suspicious. There's another guy down to my right where I can uh, search light, as you can see. Just stay on this kind of upper um, pipe thing. Right, crouch walk till the end of the pipe platform and uh, jump down and then just kind of walk at first and call d -Hoss. You don't want to run too soon because it might detect you running and that's an instant uh, combat alert. Because you'll find it difficult to headshot them. There's another two guys over here that you need to be careful. Uh, you can dodge them by climbing on D-Horse and pressing X and to the direction of the left and it'll hide down the left hand side of the horse. So just don't gallop, just move the horse forward with the left analogue stick and uh, and go by their right their left hand side with the horse on their left hand side. And hopefully they won't spot you. Don't gallop because obviously you'll be upright in the horse and uh, they'll catch you. And that'll trigger one of those kind of reflex uh, scenes. And if you don't headshot both of them, then you're beat. But when you're by them and uh, you feel confident, you can start galloping. Come down here. You need to watch out for an outpost down here on the right. Well, actually, there's two, but this is the first one. So I like to go down the left hand side of the outpost. But when you get down near the bottom of these trees, you want to stop galloping and you want to go down your left hand side and hide again. Because there are guys over there to the right that can spot you. 
But if you feel confident that you're far enough away from any guys or random soldiers, then just keep following the road. But be careful, there is another uh, outpost on the right here, so just stick to this left hand side. Just be wary of soldiers. Sometimes the patrol routes differ slightly. Stay on the left hand side. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Right. I don't have MDC me on the right, so but you need to be wary as well because that's not the only outpost. There's uh, another couple of guys stationed up ahead uh, as if they're protecting a materials container. So you're going to want to go up the road a bit and you'll see the guys with the materials container ahead somewhere. Wait, right, there they are there, that red container on the left. So you want to hide down the right hand side of the horse this time. Not the left, the right hand side. And go down the, uh, by this rock here. Remember, just move the left analog straight forward, and while well, you're doing that right hand side, and they shouldn't see you, uh, at least during the, d the darker hours anyway. Their eyesight and uh, uh, their view is restricted. Right, come along here, but just be careful, there's another two guys. See, there's another two guys over there. I get stuck in the horse there. Right, so come up here tonight, behind these rocks. You can run as long as there's no guys there. Just quite slow down a bit here because yeah, there's guys there. I can't run anymore. There's two guys there. See them behind that rock. Wait, once you're by this kind of section, that's you approaching the the kind of base area where the main mission takes place. Wait, remember, there's another two guys here. One in a watchtower on the left, and there's also another guy straight on the left here. He's further back, so I think I'll be okay. Yeah, he's behind that rock, I think. Right. If you do this mission during the day, be careful of mines on this hill, because there's uh, random mines placed about during the day to make it harder. If you come down this right hand side. I mean, another reason I like to pick night time for this particular mission is uh, there's two decoys doing this right hand side. See it? That's not a real guy, it's a decoy like a kind of balloon soldier. And I think there's another one over there. I could be wrong. He might not be a balloon. Alright, that's an actual soldier, but you can sneak by him later. Because this way that we're coming in and out is the way you want to kind of come out uh, when you've got Emmerich. Because there's not many soldiers up this way apart from that guy and people patrolling above the bridge. Now I can't emphasise enough how you really want to take out there's a sniper. And well that's another decoy in the night. There's a sniper uh, on a kind of old dilapidated building. And you really want to deal with him before you get Emric because it just makes it a hell of a lot easier this section. Well, I think so anyway. Yeah, the sniper is on that building just to my right. See at the top? But I'm going to deal with a guy right at the entrance to the hole in the dilapidated building. He's just there directly in front of me. Right, I headshotted him. But I've got to deal with the sniping as well. Hey, there's a sniper up there. So just crouch, walk up behind them, or crawl, whatever you whatever your own preference is. Now I'm gonna go up behind him because I think he's got a helmet on, so you can't really headshot him. I could be wrong, it might just be a hat. Right, and I, I just hold R1, uh, tap R1, sorry, and uh, once you've grabbed him, and it should knock him out. And then I like to fill and recover him, because that way he'll never come back and you don't need to worry about a sniper on the second half of the mission. Analysis 
I'll just mark a couple of these soldiers. He's coming too. Roger that. Du, du, du. I'm just kind of follow this route because it's. Uh, I think there's less soldiers this way. And this is the route it says to take in the book. See the actual um, strategy guide? This is where it tells you where to go. Not come out, but he might get back up because uh, there's a walker gear patrol in the area, and, and it might spot him, and uh, the soldier might jump out and uh, wake him up. But that doesn't matter. Hopefully, you can get by that section pretty fast anyway before that even happens. There's two soldiers here. You want to tranquilize these? I'm going to try and do the one on the right first because he looks as if he's got a helmet on. And then the one left. And that's the two down. So all you want to do now is I'm checking for that walker gear. So I could uh, walk him. Run in here. Press select to skip the cutscene. Right, and then when you've got Emric, he tells you to get a walker gear or something. Just ignore all that crap and go back outside. Right, crouch walk and go back the way you came. I meant to say your buddy's D horse in this because uh, you need D horse to to escape the boss at the end of this map. So you definitely want D horse to to try and escape the area as fast as possible. Sorry, I should have said that at the beginning. That's my fault. Just gonna head over back where you came. Obviously, don't go the upper route because you're crouch walking all the time. Try and stick to this kind of uh, route here. Head over this wee hill and down under the bridge. Down we go. There's a soldier on top of that bridge, as you can see, I've marked him. He's like 50 odd meters away. Okay, so you need to watch out for him, and you need to watch out for the guy uh, down there on my left. See, he's 80 meters away or 70 meters. You want to just crouch walk all the way this way. He's started to spot and be suspicious uh, me in this direction. But just keep scout watching and it sh shouldn't actually come anywhere near you. But you want to come up here uh, to the left by these fences because if you go down the right hand side, I always noticed my helicopter used to keep getting destroyed and I was wondering well, I mean, what are you supposed to do when the helicopter's getting hit and you're, all you can do is carry bloody emmerich. And shoot with a tranquilizer or a secondary weapon. So I found this the best method to to beat this with an S rank. It's not the fastest method, but it certainly works. Right, and look, my helicopter's about to blow up as well. Uh, right, so just press select to skip the cutscene. And then when the cutscene skipped, you want to run immediately through the legs of the boss. Right, skip. Right, and run as fast as you can with the L3 button held down. And when you get near the, the edge of this can I get here, you want to call d horse and You want to run around the corner with him so you don't get hit with the 
Yeah, or the horse is stuck, bloody hell. Right, put him on with a circle button and press triangle and go on quickly and start galloping with square as fast as you can. But you're going to have to change your landing zone because that one is too close. Right, pick up, change the landing zone to the one further away and gallop 400 metres towards that. And try and stay behind cover if you can so you or Emric's not getting hit by the boss. Because you want to lose him. As you can see I still get stuck in the rocks and stuff but... I mean I think there's room for error. Roughly when I'm about 50 metres away I like to jump off the horse, so I thought it was an outpost, so let's just avoid the outpost. So grab Emric with this, hold the circle button and then you grab Emric off the horse. Then I was going to head that way but that's an outpost, so I went up here to the right. Luckily, uh, luckily the boss hasn't spotted me. As you can see there's the wee drones that come out the boss to search for you with infrared. I mean there's one really close to where I'm at and it's not spotted me frankly. As soon as that helicopter comes down press try and go and get in and immediately man the Gatling gun. Right, and the thing you want to keep in mind is he's going to fire the drones off first. So don't uh, hold the R1 button down, just tap it and deal with the drones as they fire out. Right, there's the drones firing out, so deal with the, the ones that came out the first. Right, so I've destroyed four, five, there's one I've missed over there. Six. There, yeah, see it? I missed that one, I hit the helicopter. Right, and when he flies up like that, now hold the R1 button in, when it goes into reflex mode, and just fire at his head. yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to stay alive? Stick with me. There he goes. And hopefully that's enough for an S rank. Yeah, I like to skip the cutscene. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best boss. The one and only. There you go. I've got an S rank. So thanks for watching and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you later. Good luck and hopefully you can get it as well.